Okay. Looking at this military land. Here's the fence right here. Don't cross that. It was a plane right there. Wow. Watch those all day long, huh? Comes right over houses over there. Okay, comes in. They just keep coming and coming and coming. They resupply much of the world from here. They can go anywhere over the top. Uh, but of course, you know, they can go around the lower end. But man, a lot they get it up here. Now that guy's not going. He's going around. He's doing kind of like touch and go, I guess. Because he hasn't landed. Anyhow, I'm going to go down here. Look at that land. There's a li little. I don't know if you can see it back in there. There's a little pond. Kind of neat. This one, and this is the military land. They got some good land. They make the tree cutting right there. And, uh, this is not the military land. You know, like, this is, ironically, one of the, the, I don't want to say poorer, but they, it is a poor, a lower income section of town. But it's really neat over here. I mean, it's, the sad thing is, is we are off kept on land. And if we could expand that, well, they say, okay, well, then you're going to have to drive farther. So we want to keep you in little houses and put you in little buses. Well, guess what? We can make some electric cars that would work. And it isn't bad to have oil. Gosh, that's what bothers me about most people. Of course, they're down there in a place where it is bad to have oil because they have a lot of people on top of each other. And that's the problem. They have so many people on top of each other. And that's what's going to happen. Things are going to have to change to where we have more space. And that's the problem.